Hey everyone, it's me, Dramata Sim. Welcome back to my channel for a new part of The Sims 2. Let's play Strange Town Season 2. I almost said Pleasant View. We are not in Pleasant View. Holy banana cakes. We are in Strange Town. It is part one, round one, Beaker Household. Here we go. I'm so <laughs> excited. <laughs> Hi everyone, how have you been? How is everyone handling 2020? Happy October, happy spooky month. Um, I'm sorry for the delay. Um, I've been going through some stuff. Everyone's kind of going through some stuff right now, but we're back, we're ready to go. I've been really, really, really wanting to record, but my just heart and my mind wasn't in it. For the past couple months and so i do apologize i know you've all been waiting so patiently and so anxiously and just impatiently but you've been patient and i appreciate that so so much but i'm ready and i kind of want you guys to hold me accountable ask me where's the next video danny where is it danny why are you late danny why you do this like come at me please <laughs> um i will uh i will i will appreciate it i honestly will hi if you're new <laughs> Welcome to the channel. My name is Dramatism or Danny. We do Sims 2 content on this channel and we make them really storyline based and we really do it together. It is a cooperative, collaborative experience. Um, and I think that's really, really freaking cool. You guys are so talented. You guys are also so creative. And um, I just kind of start off the stories as they are, but you guys really, really help us help me elevate it to where we are all really happy with it. So I'm really excited if I haven't said it enough on uh, Strange Town season two. We're starting off uh, the same order of season one. So we're starting things off with the Beaker family. Um, if you haven't seen the intro video introducing all the families, um, I have updated their family descriptions or the household descriptions. So they make a bit more sense for where we're at right now in terms of our storylines. Um, so if you haven't seen that yet, highly recommend going back. If you also would like to watch season one, it is atrocious. It was over five years ago. So um, baby D Danny and awful Mike quality incoming and inbound. You could still watch that. It's on my channel. I'll link it too. Um, and yeah, if you have not subscribed, think about subscribing, maybe watch a little bit of this and, you know, subscribe, leave a like, all that good stuff. We're going to go ahead and get started. Um, we're pretty familiar with all the families. I will do a very, very quick review of the people. Very, very fast house tour because this house in particular has an in-depth speed build. I don't know why I'm talking like that. In-depth speed build. So you can watch that if you want to get a proper like experience. Uh, I gave, again, this house a massive, massive makeover. Really, really, really needed it. I'm super happy with the look of it. Uh, Loki and Cersei deserve a mansion and a beautiful space to be in. And I think I've finally delivered that to them. So fingers crossed. We'll kick things off with Loki, a beaker. You may notice he is still quite young at heart. That cow plant milk is just something special. Um, Loki has a hit all the way up to level nine of the scientist career. He really, really wants to max that out. He is on a mission and we'll probably get that for him. He has a lot of enemies and dislike people and we're still in a bad space with the nervous subject to be expected. Um, he has a knowledge sim. Um, we're going to ignore his lifetime aspirations. Not very good, but just a reminder that he is really, really not the nicest or most playful person. He is actually a very, very serious, super grouchy guy, but he's very, very neat and actually quite outgoing and active. So, you know, he's keeping up with the times. Um, if we go through his stuff a little bit, um, we can see Marjorie has been getting A's. He drank, um, Johnson pie. So he gets memories for that kind of stuff. And then Johnson died. Um, he did have an affair with Chloe, which we are going to touch on. Um, and he now has two loves at once. Woohooed. And then MX001 was born shortly after he drank Johnson. Um, he has fainted and stuff like that. And um, Marjorie got rejected from private school because the house, shockingly, was not suitable for children or something like that, which I was like, OK, um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and cheat and put her in private school. Yeah, I cheated and put her in private school because I was like, it doesn't make sense. Um, so Loki is here. And as you know, he is working his best to 
finding more scientific achievements. Was that a sentence that made sense? Anyways, he is on a mission to, you know, achieve scientific nirvana, if you will. And that's causing some friction in, I would say, his marriage and his life just in general. Cersei is a little um, hangry this morning. She's also pooping. Um, funny, this is the second time I'm recording this. And both times I interrupted Cersei when she was on the toilet. How about you don't? How about we go downstairs and get the pancakes? I'm pretty sure Chloe's making us pancakes. I know you're very, very hungry and you're being dramatic about it. A girl, I feel that same here. Cersei is here. She's looking um, gorgeous. Give her a bit of a makeover as I've uh, replaced a couple defaults replacements. I've replaced my defaults um, in terms of like hair and makeup and stuff. And so she's looking pretty, pretty a bomb. I mean, she's a snack and a half. I would take that. Um, and... Um, yeah, so Cersei is um, also, of course, complicit in the scientific uh, experimentations and things like that. But she is in the medicine career. She has reached all the way to level eight of the medicine career. And she really, really does want to max out and become a chief staff, chief of staff, um, level 10 in this career as well. She has all the skills. She has all the friends. Hopefully we get promoted on Monday to level nine and we can move forward with that. But she's been extremely focused on her career and in the... Um, in the downtime when she's home, um, was working with Marjorie. And ever since Chloe's come around, Cersei has just felt uncomfortable. It's like this is kind of a line that Cersei didn't really want to cross. And Loki has crossed it. And now Cersei's like, I like really, really don't like this. Um, but she hasn't really said anything to him. And he's kind of like, they haven't really been communicating all that well. So we're going to see about that. But um, a reminder for Cersei's personality, she has the same personality as Loki. Um, also super serious and super grouchy, but very neat. She's less outgoing than he is. She's a little more shy, a little more reserved, which makes sense why she's not, you know, speaking up when things are bugging her. Um, and she's a little more active than him as well. Um, she too has been drinking um, people. She drank the nannies, <laughs> both nannies. Um, and uh, so that's been a thing um, for her. So we'll just uh, we'll just see about that. But something interesting that I noted um, is that but her and Vidkind uh, have a zero relationship now. She's completely cut him out of her life and she's actually not attracted to him at all. I have a feeling that his obsession with her is really one-sided. She chose Loki for a reason, but I'm wondering if her issues with Loki are going to kind of push her into Vidkin's arms. If he plays it right, maybe it'll all work out for him. And then we have little Miss Marjorie over here. She looks awful. She's literally one of the most ugliest sims I've ever experienced in my life, and I'm worried for the future genetics of this world. But look at the cute little flowers in her hair, like, adorable. Aww. Mm. <laughs> Marjorie's here. She um is not nice. <laughs> she's not nice, but she's a super neat, super outgoing, super active. Um, she's an Aries, so she's dynamic and confident. I don't know where that confidence comes from because it's not for your looks. Maybe it's for her brain. She's actually very, very smart. She loves playing chess, which is not very normal for a lot of children, I feel. So I find I'm uh, kind of hoping that um, this early uh, logical and strategic play will um, do great things for her as she ages up. Then we're heading over to Little Miss Chloe, our girl who is just making all the wrong decisions in her life and literally nothing is going her way. I feel so, so, so bad for her. But Chloe is here and she's kind of stuck. Um, but she is hoping to find a way out. She was not happy at her sister's place or staying as roommates with her sister and Kristen. And she wanted to run away from the responsibility of her daughter, Osiris, but she fell into the arms of Loki Beaker and then had a child anyways, like literally right after Osiris was born. So really not uh, cool, <laughs> really not great, really not in a good space. She is not her own Sim. She's like literally doing everything that she absolutely hates. She has to cook. She has to clean. And then on top of that, she has her body literally experimented on in every kind of way. Um, and then on top of that, her child 
also gets experimented on in every single way. I don't know how she's going to age up. This poor child is just like screaming, like, save me, take me. She also looks disgusting. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I really shouldn't be like that for these Sims, but Loki's genetics are, mm, they don't do anyone any favors. They really don't um, need to stop breeding these children. <laughs> Maybe Marjorie won't have children and we'll just let her be an old, anyways. Um, so that's the families right now. So Chloe, she really, really thought life would be greener on the other side her going out on her own she thought she could get away maybe like just run away from her responsibilities didn't really happen she got stuck with a lot more than responsibilities if you know what i'm saying and um and now she wants to find a way out and the way she thinks she can find her way out is through love using her natural talents Oh, as a reminder, so she's unemployed. Obviously, she can't work because she is kidnapped, um, but she's a cancer. She's super outgoing and very playful, but she's lazy, grouchy, and really sloppy. So, you know, being the person doing all the cleaning in the house, really not cool. Um, so, yeah, we have Chloe thinking that she can potentially get Loki to let down his guard on her a little bit with her charms and stuff. Then on top of that, she really wants to flirt and get to know Rip. Her and Rip, of course, have a very strong attraction to one another, both being romance sims. And I think that using Rip Grunt, who the Grunts do have a grudge against the Beaker family, could be beneficial for Chloe. She doesn't know the, about too much about the that, but I'm sure if she like drops a hint or something or says like, I'm kind of stuck here, Rip would take that opportunity to maybe save a damsel in distress. Who knows? Rip could maybe be motivated. Um, and then very, very quickly, just the house. Again, I modernized their home. If you remember before, it was all brick and just cold and really not cool. I've opened it up with a lot of large, large windows, um, nice glass fencing instead of the brick. I like this new stucco uh, concrete. Um, I did the interior with hardwood instead of stone um and carpet in some applicable bedrooms um but i again i think this just it modernizes it this is one of my favorite houses now um i did put it up for download but apparently if you take it it could corrupt your game so take that as you will um don't blame me if your game blows up. I'm sorry, it's not my fault, but uh, I tried to share it with you guys and apparently you just can't because we got people in the household. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play. Everyone's in really, really foul moods. Um, MX001 is just so unhappy because she needs her diaper changed, but apparently Loki wants to read her a book and maybe it's not a children's book. Let's pretend it's maybe a mathematical book and she's being tortured into some degree. Not that I condone torturing toddlers, <laughs> But I think he's trying to see how much, you know, brain power um, she has in her in her head. Uh, also, poor little thing has this little robot toy that is just sputtering and ending its life. And she's crying and she's so upset and we're just going to ignore her for now. Um, but Cersei also in a very, very bad mood. And maybe we'll just stay with Cersei for a little bit. Um, I think she actually it's eating her up inside what Loki has done and the way Loki is conducting his business right now. And she's not feeling it she's not having it she's not not with it and i think she actually really wants to confront him so right now we're gonna have some pancakes kind of all together a little bit but i kind of want her to potentially argue with him and tell her the thoughts that are going on inside her head she's also just stole his pancakes that's that's a thing that's happening is Marjorie hungry too? She is. Why don't you come eat too, darling, instead of E playing your chess? And Chloe's like talking. I think she's trying to, you know, be kind and approach them in a way, Loki and Cersei, in a way that will make them happy with her. She does not want to anger them and, and, and incur their wrath at all. So working on that but Cersei's too too hungry she needs to shovel these pancakes down her throat maybe I'll speed it up a little bit just so we can get through this quicker but having a little family meal all together um kind of weird <laughs> 
kind of a little weird. Uh, I'll have Chloe put the leftovers away so we got food um, down in the way. She is in a really good aspiration level right now. So anything that we use on her for experimentation is actually going to do her good as opposed to harm that really Loki um, wants. Um, and I think Chloe, in the meantime, has to come. Why can't you let yourself out of your crib? I thought you could. I don't understand. I have a mod that lets you... That lets you oy, oy, oy. Uh, change her diaper. And then is she hungry? Yes. And then let's come up here and get you a bottle. Make you all happy and stuff. So Cersei is, uh, you know, having small talk with Loki over pancakes. Um, Marjorie doesn't see anything like askew in terms of, um, you know, what they're what they're talking about. Uh, Marjorie doesn't have friends right now. Um, she has only gone to school, I think, one day or a couple days. Um, so she might go watch TV for a little bit just to get herself in a good mood. Um, and then I think Loki seems to be cleaning up the dishes, which is surprising. Um, but Cersei needs to eat just another, another set of pancakes. And I think we'll go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to have her come over here and not noogie him. <laughs> that would be fun. Um, argue with Loki and kind of talk about her feelings. He seems to be playing and best friends with her. So here we go. She's literally picking up her foot to slam it down. She is in a... Tizzy. And she's saying, Loki, I don't appreciate what you've done. I know what you did with Chloe, and maybe we need to get her feeling a little jealous right now, but she is not happy with how things are, and she's like, I don't understand why Chloe is here. You have taken things way too far. Is our marriage a joke to you? And he kind of turns it back on her, which is surprising to me. Um, Turns around and says, you know what? I've been the only one working on the experiments. You've been reaping the rewards of the youth. Cleaning and rubbing his hands together. He loves the arguing. He's like, we have been working so hard and you now want to back out. We are on the edge of a breakthrough and I need to take it to the next level and I will not have you stand in my way. And she's like, I don't understand what you mean. Apparently they're going to go woohoo it out. Angry woohoo with ACR. Oh, okay. <laughs> Angry woohoo with the ACR. You guys kill me. Literally death. No, please, no. <laughs> I don't really want them to, but they're doing it. It's angry woohoo. Okay. Okay. Is there going to be a chime? Okay, good. No chime. Phew. No more ugly Loki babies, please. And thank you. So, okay. They had angry woohoo. It looks like he just took her to the bedroom to shut her up. I mean, true. I mean, Loki, you do what you got to do to put your woman back in check. Um, Not that, again, I don't condone it, but if that's what you say. So, <laughs> I guess she's just going to come out and... Maybe we'll have her work on a couple skills, um, get a cooking skill point, not a cooking skill point, I'm sorry, a mechanical skill point and maybe a cleaning skill point because I know we're going to need those for work. <laughs> but Allegra the dog is not in a good mood, but I'm going to have Chloe actually come up here and Loki come over here as well. I do want um, them to talk and maybe get some experiments in. Like, Loki's like, come on, Chloe, we've got work to do in the laboratory. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna do it. We do need to get a couple skill points, logic and cleaning. I don't know what gives us cleaning. I think this, um, and this could potentially give us, oh, this gives us mechanical. I should actually have Cersei working on that instead of just reading a book, but... It is what it is. Um, and yeah, um, <laughs> I'm kind of surprised that Cersei is now letting it go. I thought she was a lot more upset uh, and I didn't think she was going to, you know, let Loki get away with what she, what he's getting away with. But um, they talked it out and he kind of just like, I guess I want to say maybe gaslit her a bit, a bit or... 
or told her that she was overreacting and whatnot. And she's trying to read the book to MX001. She's literally sleeping. Like, maybe you can tuck her in. We're out of food. Literally the inconvenience. And we also have, like, no money because I renovated. Uh, oh, yeah. I took away her cell phone so that she doesn't have that. So she has to go ahead and call delivery from the landline and get that going for us. And maybe um, we'll... Because we're, we know we're ordering groceries, she needs permission to, like, call and things like that because they obviously don't want her calling anyone that she, you know, might know or could um, could potentially help her. But we're going to go ahead and very quickly and very quietly, because she's alone in the kitchen, call Rip Grunt and just talk to him very quickly. Obviously can't invite him over. We can't have guests. Um, but she's going to call him and say, um, I don't know, just kind of get to know him, kind of feel him out. Chloe is feeling the fear of letting someone know and them not being able to help her in the correct way in the right amount of time. She also knows that she can't just leave herself. She absolutely wants to take MX001 away as well. Um, in her mind, she has a name for her, um, but I don't want to share it quite yet. Um, kind of save it. Let it be like a surprise um, when and if we escape. Um, but she has to set things up very, very carefully. So she's just calling Rick, Rip very quickly. Um, and she says, like, you know, I know it's been a long time since we last spoke, um, but I'm wondering if, you know, you can like send a message to my sister and he's like because he's heard the whole town has heard that chloe singles has been kind of like missing um or missing and people are kind of like oh she just left and she's okay um so rip wasn't too too concerned that she was air quotes missing um but he's like yeah sure and she's like just let her know that i'm okay and he's like oh okay like are you and she's like oh no i have to go the d i have to go um I'll call you when I can and you hear him say hear him say wait and she hangs up on him right away because she has to go and she has to get the grocery delivery because it has arrived um I also wanted to note that like uh <laughs> UFO you can see from their window now before I don't think I noticed it because of the the way the house was built um but you can totally see the UFO crash landing site from our house and i don't know i don't think i've ever really noticed that ever in my gameplay so that's cool so anyways so it seems like we got away with that kind of okay right now we're gonna come and accept this delivery um for the house uh and then chloe does have to do a bunch of um cleaning and repairing and probably some gardening too see cersei just came out to like see um and she does want to buy a car too, although I don't think I have space on this lot for a car. Um, so I'm going to unlock that for now and maybe uh, we'll come and answer the phone. Apparently I selected the dog. That'll do that for you. Is Chloe available to talk? And Cersei's like, no, Chloe doesn't even live here. What are you talking about? Scared. And Chloe heard and she's like, God damn it. I wonder who called me. She's hoping it's not Rip. Um, and Cersei, I think, is going to come over and just tell um tell loki that um there was a phone call for Cer like them looking for cersei and we need to be we need to be really really careful she's like you know there's people calling da 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 da, da. i don't know why it's saying they're growing up at 6 p.m when they're really really not going to um and apparently mx001 has one day and she'll be aging up okay uh, that's going to be exciting. I don't know what state she's going to be in. I have a feeling that we want her to be, and by we, I mean Loki and Cersei, want her to be in a bad aspiration level. Oh, he's noogieing her? Are you serious? I don't think this is... Look at his face. He's very terrifying. Look at her face. She's like, did you just really do that to me? We're freaking adults, and you are doing that to me. She did not like that at all. Um... They're on shaky ground. Shaky, shaky, shaky ground. Um, but Chloe's making dinner for us, and I really think that's kind of it for this part right now. As the intros were going to be kind of slow to start off 
But these guys really make me, um, they make me wonder um, a lot because they're kind of strange. But um, I'm going to go ahead and, yeah, wrap up this part here. Oh, look, see, we want to kiss him. See, she thinks that he can be her knight in shining armor. Can he? I don't know. Um, serving hamburgers that look like something you'd get at Chuck E. Cheese. Fantastic. Love that. Uh, yeah. So if you guys are interested, want to see more, liked this video, give it a fat thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. I do put them out as often as I can. I will be doing it more often now, especially now starting off with Strange Town. Um, what are you most excited about? What are your thoughts so far on the family? Is Did Cersei really forgive Loki? Is Loki... Um, in the wrong, in the right, I don't know. Um, will Chloe escape? And do you think using Rip Grunt is the best way to escape? Or should she try another form? What are some opportunities do you see? Um, yeah, that's about that. So I love you guys so, so, so very much. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in one of my next videos. Bye, guys. Oh,